Um, hi, this is a quick overview of my rotary transformer slash rotary inverter. Um, this is originally from an aircraft um, and it's used to convert DC into AC. Um, in essence, it's effectively a motor in this half, a DC motor in this section, the single phase generator in this section and then the three phases on the end. Um, the three phase is 400 hertz at 115 volts at 1.25 kVA continuous. Um, the single phase in there is 2 kVA continuous um, and that's 1.6 kilohertz at 115 volts AC. Um, and then the DC motor is 100 volts DC. Um, total output capacity is 3.5. 25 kVA continuous. Um, the three phase is generated from the stator and then it's taken off here and then the rotating magnetic field is generated from this. Um, that's fed by two slip rings which are down in there. Um, the single phase is generated in a bit of an odd fashion because it's it doesn't have a um, rotating coil of any description it just has laminations in a weird triangular fashion um, so it kind of like drags the magnetic field around I suppose um, because it's field winding and the output winding are both wound on the stationary part or the stator um, and then the motor is a shunt wound DC motor so um, its field windings are in parallel with the armature um, and its speed is constant at around 8,000 RPM for this to actually produce the rated output frequencies. Um, the load on the three phase is 950 watt light bulbs, um, three bulbs per phase, so 450 watt phase. Um, and then this single light bulb is the single phase output, just to verify it works. Um, originally this was in a big box um, but the box was all damaged so I had to I took it off backtrack the wire in the best I could um, so three phase DC in for the field for the three phase uh, single phase field motor field DC in to the motor and then single phase out um, then you have on the back field resistor for the motor though i think it's slightly undersized um and then field resistor for the single phase um that's the original inductor which is on the incoming dc and that was in the box that i took out um, and then this is the original contactor which is used to switch the dc to everything pretty much um the speed measurement is using an inductive sensor which is connected to the or to an Arduino focus. Um, so when the keyway with the key in it passes the sensor it triggers the sensor um, and then it's just an Arduino and a buffer to clean up the 5 volt square wave which is then calculated and then the speed is displayed on there um, as I say it's rated at 8000 rpm continuous um, and then the power supply is two flat pack HE 3 kilowatt supplies um, these don't have grounded outputs so you can series the outputs um, they are rated for a maximum of 500 volts between either output and ground um, I probably want to go that far um, so at the moment they're in series for 100 volts DC at 53 amps um, maximum um, and then these little boards are off eBay to make it more universal with a RC connector because um, they have gold fingers like the more common server supplies um, so yeah so that's pretty much the main overview of it um, I'll power it on Um, the input current is about 1.5 amps per supply um, and then it's about 4.5 amps per supply um, at 230 
i.e. that's with with a load and without a load respectively so 4.5 with and then 1.5 without um, and the DC field for the three phase is I say by a bench supply and it's about 20 volts at about an amp ish um, so yeah so I'll turn it on So uh, yeah, so it definitely works. Um, I do hope to load the uh, single phase down as well. I so said that's two kVA, so that'll be um, a fair few light bulbs. Um, but yeah, so thank you for watching, um, and have a good day. Cheers.